Hello friends, this is Ian. I'm over here working on my project boat Nika and this is just a video for quick reference for the bilge pump wiring. So here we're looking at the bilge pump and um, the main thing you have to think of is you have one positive. Okay, one positive only. So that's the simple part of it. Red goes to red. And that's it. So the positive is always connected. Now it's the negatives that will either be automatic from the switch or manual from the switch. The manual is going to be intermittent and the automatic will stay on always. So that's why when you see the pump switch over here, the automatic is always going to be on, right? So you always have juice flowing through the automatic negative. And the, the manual cannot, it's, it's impossible to always have it. It'll, it can only be intermittent. So that's the difference. So I've labeled them auto and manual on, this, on those negatives that come off the back of that. And they pop out over here on the wiring. So I've already labeled them. The negative that's automatic, I marked is black for me. And then the the manual is red. I wish I had two black wires. It would look it would look clearer uh, because I'm using this insulated pair. It's it's a red and black combo. But anyways, so the automatic it makes sense. There's intuition here. So automatic is going to be the one that's always left on. So that's only triggered by when it when it's when the float switch is triggered. So you let you you take the automatic negative and you wire it to the switch and then you come back and then into the main negative okay and then the manual is only going to be intermittent so the manual goes straight to the pump so this manual goes straight into the the negative line and they all come together there's a they're gonna you're gonna have one connection that has three uh, parts to it three three wires soldered all together that's this connection right here that's where the manual meets the negative from the pump and the manual meets the negative output from the switch so once again you're gonna have only one con one junction. Either you can use butt connectors or soldering. I'm actually soldering here. It's the second time around because some of these lines are a bit corroded. So you're going to have one juncture that has three lines together. That's the trickiest part. It's not really tricky if you think about it, though. That's going to be where the manual line from the switch meets the negative of the pump and the output side of the switch. Cheers, folks.